return. You just presented the ID card list with the mystery number. <coughs> it shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There's one ID on the list we couldn't figure out. 777-7777. It is your ID number. The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open, and the code we used was... 777-7777. So you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime, did ya? <laughs> right now the court demands an explanation from you about the use of this ID card. Tell us. Speak. Well, it's the evidence room of the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. When you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone. I would hope, anyway. You haven't seen him in days, eh? You've just undone yourself, my boy. You had to have met with Detective Goodman. Yeah, Edgeworth. You need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? <clears throat> the evidence that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Where is the lost item report? Because Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Stolen by Jake Marshall. Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. He filed it. He needed to enter the evidence room that day. Transfer the evidence out. And he didn't have his ID card. So he took the form to you. You took the detective into the evidence room. The only possibility. What are we going to say next? That's exactly what I'm going to say next. Now that you mention it, eh? That's not possible. Inform me, Edgeworth. <clears throat> oh, yes, yes. It would have been found on his dead body. Zah! Lightning rod. Super Saiyan. The murder was most likely committed on the spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. Let's see here. You contacted Lena at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body. However, Goodman's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he move it there? It was found in your trunk, Edgeworth. Everyone's aware Elena stayed at the prosecutor's office during the ceremony. You do have an entire police force. We do know how he moved the body. A useless clue just taking up space. 
Remember that unrelated evidence we got from Edgeworth? It's quite related, actually. You see, this is the screwdriver that Gant asked Edgeworth to take back to the prosecutor's office, and the body was found in the trunk of Edgeworth's car, hence, the body was taken back to the prosecutor's office. Huzzah! A screwdriver. What does it have to do with the case? We know what it has to do with the case. Wait for it. You got it. Haha. -ha. <clears throat> After the ceremony ended that day. Yes. He went back to the prosecutor's office because Gant asked him to. It's obvious what happened. Let's hear it. What is your explanation, Gant? No room for rebuttal? Did you order the code red on Santiago? Oh, sorry. Movie reference. This is not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It's a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. And now... Examination isn't done yet, you fool. Now he's going to invoke his right to not testify. Huh. There are certain risks. And he is going to run away. Evidence would have presented it by now. You think I had laid and disposed of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Here. And then we'll have some fun next time.